Today we are going to use the College Board website to search for different colleges and this is uh, can be used if you have a really good idea of where you want to go or no idea at all. So first thing you need to do is go to www.collegeboard.org and it will take you to this site here and under the access section we're just going to click on college search and what it does is it tells you 3700 different colleges in alphabetical order um, <laughs> if you really want to scroll through every single one alphabetically you can um, but if you really want to narrow down your search you can do this over here on the left hand side and um, we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, you'll also notice if you look at some of these there's a little star here that lets you know there are college application fee waivers available uh, if you are interested in using these different college application fee waivers see your counselor and they can walk you through the process of getting these different fee waivers but be careful because you are limited to the amount that you can use so make sure you're really using it on schools with application fees that are out of your reach uh, price wise because they do range anywhere from 10 15 dollars all the way on up to a hundred even sometimes hundred and fifty dollars okay so let's say that um, the only thing I really know is I want to go to, to a four-year school and I want to go to a public school and let's see um, I need it to cover 100% of my financial need and I'm gonna uncheck this thing that says about colleges not reporting it because um, I need them to report it <laughs> all right so there are six colleges that um, that qualify here so let's see um, I've heard of a few of these um, okay University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill I've definitely heard of that one so let me click on that and this gives me a breakdown of UNC University of North Carolina so it tells you that it's a large four-year school co-ed small city suburban um, bachelor's master's and doctoral I have to apply by January 15th um, tells me about almost 19,000 undergraduates with a little over 4,300 freshmen, 91% of people graduate within the six year time frame, which is wonderful, and 17,735 financial aid, which is 100% of financial need met on average. Great. So you can scroll down even further and look at maps of where it's located but I'm really interested in this info over here on the left so let me look at other deadlines okay so I knew January 15th was my application deadline okay priority application October 15th okay so if you rest your mouse on the little question mark over here it tells you what that means so colleges give the strongest possible consideration to applications received by this deadline so if you really really know that you want to go there and you really want to be in the top group considered make sure you apply by October 15th okay housing deposits must reply to acceptance okay early decision October 15th and I will find out by the end of January okay that's good to know um, no test due dates financial aid priority deadline March 1st so what does that mean again you'll have the strongest consideration for any type of 
needs-based financial aid if you have everything turned in by March 1st. mean Everything meaning your FAFSA. Okay, we're not an international student, so we don't need to worry about that. And we are not a transfer student, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, <clears throat> now, it does break down information. If you didn't want to scroll, you could go to, okay, click on financial aid and it takes you straight down to that section. Majors and learning environments. So this tells me that there's a 13 to one student faculty ratio, which is pretty small class sizes. 97% um, return for their second year. And it tells me the different types of degrees that they offer at the school. And if I look under most popular majors, breaks them down here, but this by no means are all of the majors. If I go to all majors, it shows me all the different majors that are offered at the school and what degree level they're offered at. Okay. And if I'm scrolling through here and I see something that I think, hmm, um, okay, art history, criticism, and conservation. Let me click on that and find out what that's about. This gives you a breakdown of the major, what types of things that you can do with the major, um, typical courses you would take within your major, here's the type of jobs that you can have, and other majors that are related to it. So <clears throat> it's nice that it opens it up in a separate tab and you can just close it when you are done. Okay, so I want to go back up to the top here. All right, study options and services. Okay, honors college, that's nice. Study abroad, different ROTCs, distance learning, Okay, I'm not going to worry about where graduates go. Oh, this one actually has it. A lot of schools do not have it. So I will give that as a heads up. So within one year of receiving their bachelor's degree, 2% go into law, business, medical, and other. So that's good to know. Okay, campus life. This is going to give you a breakdown of the dynamics of the school. So the average age of a student is 20. Um, this gives you the demographics of the ethnicity, race, gender, and in-state versus out-of-state. Housing, this will give you information about the dorms. So notice down here, no pets, no cars. <laughs> it tells you how much your housing deposit is. Oops, when it's due. And looks like 100% of first year colleges have to live on campus. All right, activities. These are different activities that are offered at the school. Okay, Greek life, sports, their NCAA Tar Heels. And these are the different levels that you can compete in sports. So they're division one I and one A. If you want to see the types of sports they offer, here is the breakdown. <laughs> okay, and it does tell you some other things that they offer, probably more at the club level. Okay, additional programs. These are things such as counseling, wellness, academic support, disability support that are offered at the school. Applying. This is one of the big application fees I was talking about. $80. Okay. So um, $80 is a good chunk of change. So you might want to go to your counselor to see about the fee waiver information. Um, you will also notice down here that 24% of the applicants are accepted. So it's a very selective school. Uh, what's important gives you that information right here. 
So this is the most importance to the least importance, although this is not the least important overall. It's just out of the important things. That's the least important. Um, application requirements. So you do have to take one of your standardized tests and um, they consider your subject tests and your SAT. All right. And GPA requirements. Okay, all of these really dark gray squares. These are your required high school classes. Notice two years of foreign language. Most out-of-state schools do require two years of foreign language. Okay, and some of them will also consider or you will need academic electives as well as visual and performing arts, just a heads up. Okay, it does not talk about the class rank, but it does show that a huge majority have a 3.75 GPA or higher. They do not take anyone less than a 3.0. All right. Okay, SAT versus ACT. So this gives you the average score that people have. And here's the ACT score. All right. So even though 55% are between 30 and 36, it looks like their average score is actually a 27 to 32. Okay. AP, this tells you the AP classes that they take and your test score requirements and what the equivalent is. And CLEP, if you took any of the CLEP. Okay, paying, this is the other big one. Obviously, we will need to look at out-of-state costs. This gives you the breakdown of all these different areas. So $51,000 roughly. <laughs> all right. Um, tells you how to apply for financial aid. So these are um, the FAFSA and the CSS financial aid profile. The amount of financial aid that's offered. Most of it's scholarships and grants, which is great. Okay. And tells you non-needs based versus needs based scholarships. And then it also will tell you any sports and or ROTC scholarships that they offer at the school. Now, if I want to compare this to UNLV, I can click here where it says compare colleges. Boop. And it takes me there and I can add UNLV. And I can look at just a side by side comparison of the two schools. On the basic information. You can add other schools that you might be interested in as well. So let's say Harvard because you know Harvard can also cover 100% of your tuition if you meet the requirements and you can really see <laughs> the price difference between these three schools and your test scores and the class, the size of the um, enrollment. So if you have any questions about any of this, you can see your upper bound counselor and they can walk you through. But remember, this is a great way to look for your UB3 schools and find out all the information that you need to know. Whenever a counselor comes up and asks you UB3, you can just shout out the information and know it by heart. Thanks for listening. Bye.